Hi, this is Chris from the Stephanie Miller Show. Please enjoy this exclusive clip from Political Voices Network. This broke during the show. Do you find sometimes, Jody, when things break during the show, we have a limited ability to wrap our minds around it with the because Trump says something despicable literally Constantly. every. I don't. Is it thirty seconds now? Is yeah. it every Scaramucci or two? He says something. Mm-hmm. So I, 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 we that's that's the saddest thing. We've lost our ability to be shocked or numbed or whatever it is we are about like stuff. But he literally praised the terrorists. Yeah. He talked about the only people he ever calls smart or brilliant are the worst humans in the world. Mm-hmm. Putin, Kim Jong-un, like I, on and on, right? The, and now I, Hamas, Hezbollah. Mm-hmm. He, I, I have no idea. First of all, the man has lo- obviously lost whatever was left of his mm-hmm. mind because he doesn't either make any sense mm-hmm. or he's... Yeah, Lindy Lee said, Trump ra- plays the Hezbollah terrorist as very smart for attacking Israel. He fanboyed over Putin, calling him a genius for attacking Ukraine. He lauded MBS for doing a spectacular job. He gushed over the Taliban, calling them great negotiators. He invited them to Camp David. He sure did. Uh, this is the ghoul evangelicals worship. Um, thank yeah. you, Lindy. I, it's just, I, okay. I don't, we'll talk to David Jolly about that, among other things. But I just, I don't even, this is, and this is why the, the Congress of the United States has imploded, because they're listening to that guy. Yep. Okay. Jody, who said, uh oh. You know, it's a weird song because she sends it to me. She's like, Chris plays the sound bites and he still doesn't know. So I just, it's, a, it's an enduring mystery here at the Stephanie Miller Show why everyone is so bad at Guess the Quote. This is all totally unprecedented in American history. We haven't had this before. It's a hundred years since we've had a motion to vacate the chair amidst unfolding global crisis. The second in line to the president and constitutional office of Speaker of the House remains vacant with no clear path for this House Republican caucus to rally behind anyone for an election. Who said that? Nancy Drew. No. Oh, that was a good one, though. Yeah, that's better. Better than Chris's. No, that would be uh, Chris Hayes last night because I just, I can't, I, okay. I love this part. Somebody uh, somebody reported um, it was three hours of basically an airing of grievances behind closed doors. Some of them apparently in that meeting even joked they don't even think Jesus could get 217 <laughs> votes in this conference. And as much as that's hyperbole and a punchline, I'm actually not sure that they're wrong. Um, no, of course not, because he's a brown-skinned ki- socialist Jew. So right. no, of so course. So he never, Jesus, no. Computer says no. No, he wouldn't even get out of the... What did Trump get? One vote? I'm not even sure Jesus would. Uh, Trump, Trump only got Rapey McForehead's vote last time. <laughs> got one. One vote. For those of you keeping track, one. One vote. Oh, I forgot to do this thing. It's oh, okay. Hold, please. Sorry, fixing my phones. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know what's next, but they ought to just to save the world and this country. Just d- Hakeem Jeffries. There's an idea. Guess who has the votes? Hakeem Jeffries. Yeah. He has. All he needs is five. Yeah. Uh, Steve Scalise and now Jim Jordan, of course, is like, what about me again? He sticks up his little shirt sleeved arm. I'm like, oh, my God. None of them are even close from what they're saying no. in votes. Hakeem Jeffries, is, he needs five sane Republicans or from Biden, show Biden up. districts. Or, right? they or don't show be, up. Yeah, vote don't present. show up. Yeah. Yeah. Don't show up. And just to have something, have the country and the Congress be able to, to run do something. in the middle of an international and national crisis, just, you know, for now. I, I, I don't, I, okay, I don't know what else. Yes, it, these are Republicans now speaking out. Republican Representative McCall, I see a lot of threats out there in the world, but one of the biggest threats I see is that room, uh, is in that room, because we can't unify as a Republican conference and pick a speaker. It's very dangerous what we're doing. That's a Republican. I'll save this for David Jolly Stack. Okay. Uh, yes. Wow. Uh, a man. Uh, uh, Amar tweets. Wow. Former advisor for Paul Ryan and John Boehner lays out the electoral case against Republicans. We are not a party fit for governing. We are more fit for being a party in the minority. Oh my God. That is a Republican admitting it. Yep. Right. I mean, yep. there are more and more Republicans coming out of there and going, "What a show!" Right. Mm-hmm. There's only one thing now that can save America, and that would be to go to sexyliberal.com immediately. Yes. Like Evelyn did. Got my pay per view ticket early. This one's going to be wild. Get yours October 21st. Thank you. Evelyn has spectacular taste. And Evelyn didn't even know that Malcolm Nance had been added to Sexy Liberal I LA know. next Saturday. It's next Saturday, Jody. I know. Okay. 
All right, so Glenn Kirshner in just uh, uh, just a few minutes, who, of course, is one of the alpha liberals on the alpha liberal panel of all time. Right. At Sexy Liberal next time. Mm-mm, there it is, my first drink of the day, Z-Biotics Pre-Alcohol Probiotic. Many of you know my, my story. I stopped drinking wine for three years during COVID, during the lockdown as part of a health reset. Now I drink wine in moderation, but this is an amazing new product. I've always believed in probiotics. And Z-Biotics, check this out. You drink just one of these. It's the world's first genetically engineered probiotic. It was invented by PhD scientists to tackle rough mornings after drinking. I am using this and I feel great in the morning. I don't have to worry if I have an extra glass of wine. I still feel great in the morning. Here's how it works. When you drink, alcohol gets converted into a toxic byproduct in the gut. I've always had acid reflux problems. It is this byproduct, not dehydration, that's to blame for your rough next day. Zbiotics produces an enzyme to break this byproduct down. All I know is it works. It is Zbiotics pre-alcohol probiotic. Go to zbiotics.com slash political voices or scan the QR code on the screen right now.